Item number SCP-6701 Object Class Uncontained Special Containment Procedures After several failed attempts to contain SCP-6701, it was deemed uncontainable. All images of SCP-6701 created by satellite or other spatial equipment are to be intercepted and deleted by the Foundation AI Binary Star. After to successfully uploading them to the Foundation's database. Class B or C amnestics may be administered to civilians if deemed necessary. Objects that are inscribed with thaumaturgic runes may not be used again after their neutralization until further notice. Description SCP-6701 is a Foundation-made wooden swallow toy created to entertain a young humanoid anomaly at Site-47. After its creation, it breached containment and turned into a bright unidentified object flying through space. Due to the involvement of the humanoid anomaly, its containment breach has been retold as a bedtime story wherein Foundation personnel have described SCP-6701 as both a shooting star and a phoenix. As of writing, both has been deemed plausible by Foundation AI Binary Star. It is unknown if SCP-6701 is sentient or possesses any other kind of anomalous capabilities. Discovery Andrew Scriver, a level 3 handyman on Site-47, occasionally volunteered to make objects for anomalies and D-class on site. On the 2nd of August, 2020, after using a carving bench, Mr. Scriver went to the nearest workshop for some cogs and other materials to make machinery to complete the construction of SCP-6701. At the time, Site-47 was temporarily reusing neutralized objects that previously were inscribed with thaumaturgic runes in the experimental phase of a possible global waste and resource plan. Upon finishing the toy, it flew away from its hands and through the ceiling. An internal investigation revealed that several small thaumaturgic objects were accidentally mixed up with scrap metal. The personnel responsible were reprimanded and disciplined for breaking numerous safety protocols. After informing the guards, the anomaly was deemed out of range for aerial retrieval with standard equipment. Note, mostly consisting of drones or unmanned flying objects with nets. Instead, retrieval teams in a radius of 2 kilometers were dispatched and Mr. Scriver was taken inside for interrogation. SCP-6701 maintained its course and began to accelerate to speeds impossible for its anatomy. Retrieval by plane was ordered by Site Director Mix, but before any aircraft had set off, SCP-6701 had broken the sound barrier and reached Mach 1. Note, one Mach is equal to 330 meters per second, 1188 kilometers per hour, or 761.21 miles per hour. Because SCP-6701 was still accelerating and now under the influence of several celestial mechanics, including the Coriolis Effect. Note, the Coriolis Effect can be defined as the deflection in the pan of an object that is not connected to the surface for a significant period of time caused by the rotation of the Earth. A stealth jet flew out instead. SCP-6701 spontaneously combusted when it left the troposphere, and not soon after breach Mark III, the mission was aborted as personnel could not keep up with its speed nor altitude. Instead, the focus shifted towards the prevention of public discovery. Occasionally, SCP-6701 is detected by Foundation equipment flying at a faster pace than in its previous observation. The humanoid anomaly was given a handcrafted telescope with several anti-cognitohazardous lenses 
after approval of psychotropic mix.